Hey developer and welcome once again to another record world video. Twig is without a doubt one of the best employing engines for PHP that you can find nowadays. It comes included in the start and environment of Symfony 5 and can be used everywhere. However, in the official documentation it's quite difficult to identify a useful and simple example of how to use the template engine outside of controllers, specifically inside a custom command. Commands are created with the specific purpose of run memory intensive tasks that shouldn't run through a request on the browser. For example, the automatization of data migration or sending mass emails. The most typical use of the templating engine inside a command is to render the email template dynamically. In this video, we will explain you how to request the templating engine service inside a Symfony command and render a tweet view easily. The first option to use Streak inside a command is the one that uses the default framework environment. You will probably want to stick with this environment as you will have access to the routing methods, like the path function with the routes defined in your project and the app variable in the view. To get started, verify that you have the auto-wire and auto-configure parameters set to true in the services.yaml file of your project. Then proceed with the creation of a new command that we will name example command in this tutorial. Define the default namespace as app command and import the full classes of the command that will help you to print the data on the terminal or obtain it. Then import the tweak environment namespace as it will be injected in the construct method later. Define as well the name of the command that identifies how the command shall be executed on the terminal and create a private variable that will store the tweak environment instance at the class level. In the construct method, update the value of the private variable with the injected environment. The configure method of our command can be empty this time as we don't need it. Finally, on the execute method, you will be able to render a view through the district variable in the class. So we could just simply load the HTML into a variable. We will render the index.html.tweak file that has been created previously on our project and contains a basic HTML structure with a parent view. In this case, the base.html tweak file. In this case, we will just print the generated HTML into the terminal and we will run the command. For this video, we made a typo on the line 23, which includes a variable that doesn't exist, so be sure to remove it and run the command again. As you can see, the generated HTML as a structure on the tweak files has been printed to the terminal as expected. Now the other option is to work with a totally isolated tweak environment. This means that you will be working with an environment that has nothing to do with your project itself, as you won't have access to the routing or the app variable. You will need to create an extra service to make this work. So proceed to create a new PHP file named as tweak inside the service directory of your source code. Import the kernel interface namespace, the tweak environment class and the file system loader of tweak. In the construct method, we will inject the kernel interface instance from where it's possible to obtain the project root directory path.
create a loader variable that contains an instance of the file system loader and provides a secure argument the directory name where the templates are located, in this case the templates directory, and a second argument the root directory of your Symfony project. Save the changes and let's get back to the command. We will use the same command of the first option, so you will only need to change some lines, specifically the Twig environment, that will be replaced with the previously created service and change the injected value. On the execute method, you will need to load as first a template through the load method of tweak. Then, from this template variable, you will be able to call the render method, providing your arguments as an array just as usual. Finally, print a generated HTML into the terminal with the print line method and that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our codeworld.com for more awesome content about software development. Until next time.